What's up, Clever TV peeps? Thanks for coming back to the show. I'm Dana Ward with Jocelyn Davis. Hello. And we Peace. are breaking down some of the standout moments for the 2011 Nickelodeon Kids' Choice Awards. Had to throw my peace sign to do something wacky because so much wacky stuff always <laughs> happens at this show and that's why I love it. You know it, you know it. And of course the whole thing got kicked off. Big Time Rush, who are big Nickelodeon favorites, arrived in these cars that were so cool. Yes. What were those? Do we even know? Okay, I think they were old school cars. Definitely. They were very trendy and neat, but like two guys were in one car and the other two guys were in another car and they just pulled up side by side looking so fly. I wonder if they practiced. Anyway, we practice driving up. Yeah, at the same time. Simultaneously. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> and of course, they performed. Yes, very amazing. cool. Not to be outdone by that, of course. Mm -mm. Um, and then Victoria Justice did a pre-show performance, begging on your knees. We saw Victoria walk the carpet. Oh my gosh! So beautiful. So tight lips because yeah. she was on vocal rest for her performance. Exactly. She wanted to save every last ounce of energy and power in her voice. For the stage performance, I think she did a great job. Not oh, surprised definitely. at all. Of course. No. Of course. And then it was a really big moment during the show when Johnny Depp, yes, I said Johnny Depp, he actually slimed the whole audience. He like had a slime hose. Yes, exactly. Firefighter Johnny Depp in the house. It's so crazy to see someone who's so famous from a movie franchise like Pirates of the Caribbean and all the other uh -huh. countless things that he's done just get so silly. Just totally having a really, really fun time. Probably because he does have kids and so he totally gets mm -hmm. it. And Sorry, go ahead. Oh, <laughs> oh, that was a frozen moment. And another part of the show that like I really, really like, Jack Black, the host of the evening. He did such an amazing job. Like just Kicking so things funny. off. I know. So funny. Performing with the Black Eyed Peas yeah. on stage. I have to give a shout out to Fergie for that awesome Lego inspired outfit that yeah. she wore. It was, was so cool. That? And that orange eyeshadow. Yes. Only she could get away with something like that. Totally doing like Nickelodeon inspiration with the makeup. And then of course Willow Smith, she had the orange ballerina type of outfit on for mm -hmm. her performance of With My Hair. Again, Nickelodeon inspired. And you know, Action Item, who were in the studio earlier this week, uh -huh. a band that has wild and crazy fans that are so dedicated, actually said the one thing they were looking forward to most was Willow Smith whipping her hair. And I think she probably had the most fans within the celebrity group. Mm -hmm. Celebrities want to meet her and be right. close to her because they love her so much. Yeah, a lot of celebs were standing up and cheering for her during her performance, that's mm -hmm. for sure. And then yeah. Snoop Dogg, oh, he Snoop took to the double stage, G. and he straight up got slimed. Oh, I hope it didn't mess up that glorious hair of his that I, I love so much. Those sweet little ponytails, I, one or two, either way I love. I hope not, I hope not. Heidi Klum got slimed Dude, though too. Dude, insane, who slimes a hot, High fashion runway model. I know, it's so <laughs> funny, but again, it's like the Johnny Depp factor thing. You know, we know Heidi Klum's fun and playful and whatever, yeah. but we're so used to seeing her look just exquisite, perfect, and beautiful that seeing her in slime, she still looks good. It's I like know. unfair. It's like that whole thing, someone's really beautiful if they can like wear a paper bag and look good or whatever. Like, oh, put her in a paper bag. Well, put someone in slime, if they look good, they're really yeah, looking good. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Overall, it was such a fun show. Such an awesome show. Like, I'm already counting down for the 2012 Nickelodeon Kids' Choice Awards. We only have a year to wait. And also, really quickly before we wrap things up here, I want to give a big shout out to Noah Monk. He came into the studio just last week to talk Love about Noah. his upcoming correspondent duties on the orange yes. car carpet. And he totally delivered like a true professional. Yes. Looks like he's been he doing it forever. Did. I know. Great job, Noah. Are we giving four thumbs up? Four thumbs. All awesome the way for you. Awesome job. <laughs> Once again, you guys, thanks so much for sticking with Clever TV for all of the deets on the KCAs. Make sure you check back because we have exclusive interviews from the orange carpet. Oh, we're breaking down all the fashion of your favorite celebs. We've got a whole lot more coming. So stay posted to Clever TV. I'm Dana Ward with Jocelyn Davis, and we'll see you soon. Bye, guys.